When Professor Ferdinand Porsche presented his first car at the World Fair in Paris, everyone was astounded. An electric drive, two wheel hub motors, On the one hand, it was a sensation. But on the other, people quickly agreed. It won't work. Too bold. Too fast. 50 kilometers per hour, it'll send the horses crazy. Again, a new idea, a new spark of inspiration. Our dedication to the sports car for the 21st century. The concept study, Porsche 918 Spider. The first plug-in hybrid from Porsche, with electric motors that deliver more than 160 kilowatts, 218 horsepower, and a V8 high RPM engine generating more than 368 kilowatts, 500 horsepower. What's more, the Porsche 918 Spider takes new paths with electric all-wheel drive and torque vectoring. Then there's the Porsche Double Kupplungsgetriebe (PDK) and electric boost function. All vehicle components are embedded in a performance-focused automotive architecture with CFK monocoque. The weight, less than 1,490 kilograms. With a very low power-to-weight ratio, that makes it a high-performance hybrid. With less than 3.2 seconds from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour and more than 320 kilometers per hour top speed. Result, it will be faster on the Nordschleife than the Carrera GT. Equally record-breaking with a moderate driving style fuel consumption of about 3 liters per 100 kilometers and CO2 emissions of about 70 grams per kilometer are possible. And the Porsche 918 Spider can be driven by electric power only with a range of up to 25 kilometers. The sporty response to the hybrid topic. The Porsche 918 Spider has been developed from the genes of the legendary Porsche 917. The outcome is an extremely flat sports car with the distinctive proportions of a racing car. Porsche DNA, so to say. In the cockpit, the 918 Spider follows in the footsteps of the Carrera GT, for instance, with the ascending center console plus three freestanding instruments. The operating concept points the way to the future. Central control functions are found in the multifunctional sports steering wheel and the touch panel surface in the center console. It's destined to change the way we drive sports cars. The Porsche 918 Spider is one of our answers to urgent environmental issues. And yes, we respond with higher power, but also with lower fuel consumption. A contradiction? Not at all. It's the principle we call Porsche Intelligent Performance. A principle that we also apply in the new 911 GT3R hybrid. A front axle hybrid with flywheel energy accumulator for more performance on the racetrack. It follows the tradition of more than 28,000 racing victories and still goes its own way. The impetus behind this was dissatisfaction. The frustration of too much braking energy going to waste on the racetrack. The power discarded. However, to make use of it, we first had to put in a lot of energy. Or more precisely, 
a lot of brains. Because without the intelligence of our engineers, there is no performance. The question remains, can we take this energy with us? We can. With clever execution of the hybrid principle, with extra front wheel drive, with electric motors, with electric flywheel energy accumulator, and the bold plan of putting it to the test in an endurance race. It's only one day, but that's 24 hours to change the sports car world. in a 911. That may sound dubious to a few purists, but we can put their minds at ease. The motor is at the back. Well, one of them at least. Drive technology. The combustion engine on the rear axle is supported by two electric motors located on the front axle. When the driver brakes, they work as generators. Their energy is used by a third electric motor which operates as flywheel energy accumulator at speeds of up to 40,000 RPM. So the energy is stored kinetically and can be retrieved by the reverse principle and fed into the electric motors which drive the front axle. Result? Every braking maneuver generates additional energy, with advantages, especially when accelerating out of corners or on passing maneuvers. We call it boosting. And it boosts our driver's mood, too. The effect, if you brake, you gain energy. The two electric motors on the 911 GT3 R hybrid generate 60 kilowatts, 81 horsepower each. The water-cooled 4.0-liter six-cylinder boxer engine delivers 353 kilowatts, 480 horsepower, at 7,250 RPM. The result is huge potential on the racetrack. The principle is clear. Then comes the reality. We test, prepare for the race, clock up the kilometers, make progress and have setbacks, which turn into progress. Vital factor, the hybrid drive can also be used in a fuel-saving way to stay on the track longer, depending on race strategy. And this in a race that lasts for 24 hours and where seconds can turn into minutes. To be quite honest, we've rarely been under greater pressure. But we've come a long way. And no, we don't have to win right off the bat. We just want to get moving forwards. In the Cayenne S hybrid, the intelligent interplay of forces has a name of its own, parallel full hybrid, for more efficiency on the road. What does this mean? In parallel full hybrid, an electric motor with 34 kilowatts, 47 horsepower, supports the 3.0 liter V6 supercharged engine with 245 kilowatts, 333 horsepower. So the power plant of the Cayenne S hybrid comes close to the performance specs of a V8 with only 8.2 liter consumption per 100 kilometers. The combined power of both units, 279 kilowatts, 380 horsepower. Maximum torque, 580 newton meters. 
an acceleration from 0 to 100 km per hour, 6.5 seconds. In the Cayenne S, the electric motor of the parallel full hybrid is integrated directly into the transmission, with several advantages for both the driver and the environment. At moderate acceleration speeds, the electric motor powers the car autonomously up to a speed of 60 km per hour for solely electric driving through a residential area, for example. A further energy saving? Coasting during driving. That is, unpowered gliding without the combustion engine in operation. So the hybrid also shows its strengths outside city traffic at speeds of up to 156 km per hour. Additionally, the electric motor can be used to supply more thrust as support. The Cayenne can also boost for more sporting acceleration. Still another parallel to the 911 GT3R hybrid. Via the generator mode, the electric motor can regain braking energy. In other words, recuperate. In the Cayenne S hybrid, this recharges the battery. Summing up, the new Cayenne S Hybrid achieves nearly the acceleration specs of an eight-cylinder, but with significantly lower fuel consumption. Result, high agility, high efficiency, and a surprising amount of driving fun for a hybrid. Interim balance, new intelligent drive concepts for more performance and less consumption on the racetrack and on the road. They symbolize our readiness to start all over again, despite or perhaps because of countless race victories. After all, we're working on the future of the sports car for the next spark of inspiration. Porsche Intelligent Performance.